Hello and good day everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Sir Marcy and we are now on our quarter three week four which is all about the problem solving involving quadrilaterals. Okay, if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated with my latest videos. And to start our lesson, let's try to recall the different properties of quadrilaterals. For the properties of parallelogram, in a parallelogram, we have number one, the parallel sides are parallel by definition. Number two, opposite sides are congruent. Number three, the opposite angles are congruent. Number four, the diagonals bisect each other. And for number five, any pair of consecutive angles are supplementary. Next, we also discuss the properties of rectangle. In a rectangle, we have all the properties of a parallelogram applied by definition. Then we have these two unique properties of rectangle, which are all angles are right angles and diagonals are congruent. For the properties of a kite, in a kite, Two disjoint pairs of consecutive sides are congruent by definition. Number two, the diagonals are perpendicular. Number three, one diagonal is the perpendicular bisector of the other. Number four, one of the diagonals bisect a pair of opposite angles. And number five, one pair of opposite angles are congruent. Then we have the properties of a rhombus. In a rhombus, all the properties of a parallelogram apply by definition. Next, we have number two. Two consecutive sides are congruent by definition. Number three, all the sides are congruent. Number four, diagonals bisect angles. Number five, diagonals are perpendicular bisector of each other. And number six, diagonals divide the rhombus into four congruent right triangles. And we have the properties of a square. In a square, it has all the properties of a rectangle applied by definition and all the properties of rhombus applied by definition. And lastly, diagonals form four isosceles right triangles. And lastly, for the properties of isosceles trapezoids. In an isosceles trapezoid, number one, the legs are congruent by definition. Number two, bases are parallel by definition. Number three, the lower base angles are congruent. Number four, the upper base angles are congruent. Number five, diagonals are congruent. And number six, any lower base angle is supplementary to any upper base angles. Okay, so these are the different properties of quadrilaterals. Now, let's try to apply the, these properties in solving um, quadrilaterals. Okay, since na-discuss na ang lahat ng properties of quadrilaterals, this time, i-apply natin ito in solving problems or word problems. So, in our qu first question, we have FORM is a trapezoid with bases RM and FO. So, we're going to solve for the value of x. So, para makuha natin yung value ni x dito is gagamit tayo ng property sa parallelogram wherein yung dalawang consecutive angles ay congruent. So, let's say, kunin natin si angle F. Okay, so we'll use angle F and angle M. Okay? So, angle F. So, we have angle F plus angle M is equal to 180 degrees. Yung measure ni angle F is 5X plus 15 is equal to angle M which is 2X minus 10. So plus is equal to 180 degrees. Then we combine similar terms. 5x plus 2x, that is 7x. 15 plus negative 10, we have plus 5, is equal to 180. 
Next is, simplify po natin. Subtract both sides of the equation by 5. Okay, so applying subtraction property of equality. Then, we have here, 7x is equal to 175. Then, divide it by 7. Ang value ng x natin ngayon is equal to 25. Now, let's proceed with question number 2. So, to solve for the value of y, let's say we're going to use angle um, R and angle O. Okay? So, again, this two is supplementary. So, in problem number 2, we have angle R plus angle O is equal to 180 degrees. Angle R is 4y plus angle O is 2x plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Since may value na tayo ni x which is 25, so pwede natin i-substitute dito yung value na nakuha natin. We have 4y plus 2 times 25 plus 6 is equal to 180 degrees. Then, simplifying the equation, we have 4y plus 2 times 5, 50 plus 6 is equal to 180. So, we have here 4y, 50 plus 6, that's plus 56, is equal to 180 degrees. Then, we apply subtraction property of equality. So, subtract both sides of the equation by 56. We have here, 4y is equal to 124. Then, divide it by 4. Ang value ng y natin is 31. Okay, so that's how we solve for question number 1 and question number 2. Now, for question number 3, we're going to find the measure of each angle of the trapezoid. Since mayroon na tayong value ni x and y, we can now obtain the measure of each angle. So, let's start in solving question number 3. Let's say we're going to find the measure of angle F. Okay, so angle F measures 5x plus 15. Okay, so we have here um, angle F that's 5 multiplied to 25 plus 15. So, we have 5 times 25. That is 125 plus 15. And the measure of angle F now is equal to 125 plus 15. The answer is 140 degrees. Okay, next. So, okay na tayo kay angle F. This time naman, let's solve for angle O. For angle O, we have um, 2x plus 6. We now have here 2 times 25 plus 6. So therefore, si angle O is 2 times 25, that is 50 plus 6. Then angle O measures 56 degrees. So that's now the measure of angle O, 56 degrees degrees. How about the next one? Let's solve for angle M. Okay, for angle M, so I'll just write it here lang. For angle M, that is 2x minus 10. Since ang value ng x natin ay 25, so 2 times 25 minus 10. We have angle M is equal to 2 times 25, 50 minus 10. So, 50 minus 10, the measure of angle M is 40 degrees. And lastly, para makuha natin, the measure ni angle R. So, angle R is equal to 4Y. Okay, so that's 4Y. So, ang value ng Y natin is 31. So, we have here... Um, 4 multiplied to 31. And what is 4 times 31? 
the measure of angle R here is 124 degrees. Okay, so ganun yung pag-solve ng um, problems involving trapezoid. Okay, so these are some of how we solve problems involving trapezoid. Okay, next question we have the, the diagram below shows isosceles trapezoid ABCD with AB is parallel to DC. And take note that AD is congruent to BC. If AD is equal to 4X and BC is equal to 3X plus 5, we're going to solve for the value of X and the length of segment BC. Now, since the given figure is an isosceles trapezoid, meaning um, opposite or the legs are congruent. So, since we have here AD, which measures 4X, and BC, which measures 3X plus 5. Ibig sabihin nun, they are congruent. So, pwede nating sabihin, si segment AD is equal to segment BC. Why? Since this is an isosceles trapezoid. Then, we substitute. Yung AD natin ay 4X is equal to BC, which is 3X plus 5. Then, we simplify the equation. So, subtract natin both sides of the equation by 3x. So, 4x plus negative 3x, the answer is 1x or simply x is equal to, this is 0 pair, bring down positive 5. So, meron na tayong value ni x and that is 5. From here, pwede na nating masolve yung length of BC. Since ang length ni BC is represented by 3x plus 5 by substituting the value of 5 or x. So, ang value ng x natin ay 5. So, 3 times 5 plus 5. So, length of BC now is 3 times 5, 15 plus 5. So, pag sinipipay natin, ang sukat ni BC ay 20. Okay, for our last example, for what value of x is quadrilateral FGHJ parallelogram? So, if you're going to examine, FG and GH are parallel to each other. And since these are parallelogram, they are congruent. So, we have here, FG is equal to JH. Yung sukat ni FG, that is um, 5x plus 2 is equal to 4 times x plus 2. Now, what we're going to do here is simply simplify. That is 5x plus 2 is equal to 8x plus, oh sorry, this is 4x times, uh, 4 times 2, we have 8. Then, simplifying the equation, we have here 5x minus 4x is equal to 8 minus 2. Then, Simplifying again, 5x minus 4x, the answer is x, then 8 minus 2 is 6. Ibig sabihin, ang value ng x natin dito ay 6.